The man is tied up, lying on the bed, unable to move. The girl slowly came in her uniform. Without saying a word, she began to use her feet, rubbing his body and face back and forth. The man struggled desperately, but to no avail. The girl wanted to rob a sex, but the man would rather die than comply. The girl served a series of a trigrams palm. The man can only beg for mercy repeatedly. Just last night, Tom took into girls out of the goodness of his heart, but he never expected to attract the wolves into his house. He was a successful architect. Living in a big villa he designed, and a happy family, his wife is a famous designer, she gave birth to a son and a daughter for him. The family life is very prosperous. On Father's Day, his wife planned to take the children on a vacation, but Tom couldn't go because of his work. Could not go with him, he had to stay alone with his pet dog. In the evening, it's pouring outside. Tom was drinking a little wine and listening to a song, thinking of a plan to pick up a car. Thought he could enjoy a little, a short time as a single man. Suddenly, there was a doorbell outside the door. Tom looked puzzled. His own house was a far cry from the city in the middle of nowhere who is knocking at the door at night he opened the door cautiously it was to hot girls who were dripping wet it turned out that they had lost their way following the navigation coincidentally there was a heavy rainstorm they had no choice but to knock on the door for help tom wanted to refuse but when he saw the two girls standing in the cold wind shivering in the cold and poor look but he let them into the house the girls were afraid of dirtying his house and deliberately take off the wet shoes it was this act let tom gradually lowered his guard after all Greedy girls can have bad intentions. Tom brought them towels to wipe their bodies. He also called them a taxi. But because Tom's house is so remote, and there was a heavy rainstorm, it would take 45 minutes for the taxi to arrive. The girls wanted to borrow a dryer. After all, it's not convenient to be soaked to the skin. Tom was very happy to agree. He also gave them two cups of hot tea. The girls unashamedly handed their clothes to Tom. Tom did not look at the clothes into the dryer. While waiting for the bus, a few people chatted in the living room. At first, the two girls pretended to be reserved and restrained. But gradually, the conversation began to drift. More and more explicit, Tom's face turned red. When they learned that Tom was home alone on Father's Day, the girls directly stopped pretending. Left one right one to surround him, closer and closer to him. Sad to spend Father's Day with him. Such an active girl. He was really shocked, but he was a married man. He is absolutely faithful to his wife. He deliberately kept his distance from the girls. The girls were not going to let him go. They kept on teasing and provoking. They are determined to make him fall. At this point, Tom is suffering. He was trying to suppress his inner turmoil with his righteousness. Luckily, the taxi will be here soon. Anna saw the opportunity. Want to use the bathroom? At that moment, the living room was left with. Blondie and Tom were alone in the living room. The blonde was twirling her body to the music. Constantly attracting Tom's eyes, the two were getting closer and closer. The atmosphere gradually became ambiguous. Tom was about to lose his grip at that moment. The phone rang. The taxi arrived. Tom rushed to get the drying clothes for them. But when he got to the bathroom, but there was no answer inside. He half covered his eyes and went in. He didn't expect to fall into the trap of the two girls. The girls were taking a shower. Tom couldn't control himself and made a mistake. It was a dark and windy night when the rain is pouring down. Too hot. What girls knock on your door? What would you do? This man was kind enough to. He invited them into the house, but he ended up in trouble. Finally fell under the girls' peony skirts. The next morning, Tom woke up from his exhaustion to find that the girls were gone. He naively thought the girls had left on their own. But when he came into the kitchen, he was shocked by the scene before him. The kitchen was a mess. It was like it had been robbed. Two girls were playing with each other. They treated the place like their own home. Tom advised them nicely. He told them to pack their things and leave. His wife is going home tomorrow. But the girls didn't listen and said this is their home. They want to stay here for a long time. Tom did not expect that just because he did not control the moment. He had to living ancestors when the girls didn't take it seriously. Tom threatened them. If they do not want to leave, I will call the police. But the girls are still not afraid and threatened in return. If he dares to call the police, they will tell the truth about what happened last night. They also have video evidence. They'll sue Tom directly for rape. Then Tom will be sent to jail. Hearing this, Tom directly wimped out, pulled out his wallet, trying to solve the problem with money. But the girls didn't want the money. They also felt that Tom was assaulting them. Neither this nor that. Tom got angry. He grabbed Anna's neck and pushed her against the wall. The blonde girl was stunned, seeing that Tom had lost his mind. The two girls finally chose to compromise. It took a lot of effort. Finally, the two living ancestors were sent away. It took him most of the day to clean up the mess of the house. Finally breathed a sigh of relief. Little did he know that this was only the beginning of his nightmare. In the evening, he started to work with a cup of coffee and a song. Suddenly, there was a noise in the living room. He went out to check, found the smash family portrait. Before he had time to think, Anna appeared from behind. He was knocked down with a blow. And when he woke up again to find himself tied up in bed, the blonde walks in wearing her uniform. 
A red strip of cloth was thrown into Tom's face, and then, using her invincible athlete's foot, roaming back and forth on Tom's body, kissing and flirting, trying to play some new tricks with Tom. But Tom dodged and dodged and refused to comply. The blonde girl saw that he didn't want to be punished. Slap after slap on his face. After a downscene slaps, Tom couldn't take it anymore. He begged for mercy. At that moment, Tom's cell phone ran. It was a video call from his wife. The other girls used it as a threat to force him to give in. Tom had to agree to the girl's demands. Anna was filming with her cell phone from the girl's conversation. He learned that both of them had been assaulted, so they hate the opposite sex. He eventually took the path of torturing men and enjoy it. When they were tired of playing, Anna went to the kitchen to find food. Tom took the opportunity to break free from the rope. A carp jump pushed the blonde girl to the ground. He rushed out of the room in a rage. Anna pinned against the wall. Anna is no slouch either pulled out a fork and stuck it in Tom's shoulder, turning it back and forth. He fell to the floor in pain. He passed out in a flash. Two girls broke into the man's house, tied him to a chair. They make him do as they say. If he played the game with them and they would let him go. At this point, the man is like a fish on a plate. They're just playing with him. They put headphones on Tom, turning the noise up to the loudest level and start playing a game of picture and guess. As soon as Tom got the answer wrong, Tom would be punished while they were having a good time. The doorbell suddenly rang. It was Tom's best friend Jack. The girls gagged Tom and hid it and pretended to be Tom's niece, lying that he was out of town. They took care of the house for a while. But when Jack entered the house and found the house in a mess, he gradually realized that something was wrong because he knew Tom didn't have any nieces. He told the girls to tell him the truth. He said he was going to call the police. Anna saw the situation, used the beauty trick, but Jack did not want to do this, directly and righteously refused. Seeing that the soft approach did not work, the girls decided to take the hard way. Anna quietly took Jack's asthma medicine and then started to tease him. Jack had an asthma attack, he couldn't breathe. The two girls tossed his medicine around in the air, just like teasing a dog. Jack lost his footing, hit his head on the ground. He passed out instantly. Tom saw his best friend fall down. He told them to call an ambulance, but the girls just frouncy for a moment. Then they laughed inhumanely. Then they wet the newspaper, wrapped Jack up tightly, painting and drawing, and made a work of art. And then they hid the body in Tom's car, trying to frame him. And the punishment that awaited Tom would be even more brutal. The girls dug a hole in the yard. They decided to bury him alive at dawn. Tom took the opportunity to get the tablet to call his wife by voice, but before he could speak, Anna found out. Seeing that Tom was still struggling, the girls began to smash around the house, like robbers in a village. Everywhere they went, no grass grew. In the process of vandalism, they accidentally found a gun, so they planned to play a new game with Tom. As long as Tom didn't get found until dawn, they would let him go, so they untied the rope for him. Tom ran away, however, before he could hide for three or five minutes, was caught. In the end, he could not escape the fate of being buried alive. The next day, the girls tied Tom into a big dumpling, rolled into the freshly dug hole. Then they began to fill the hole without mercy. Tom panicked, shouting for help, but in the middle of nowhere, there was no one around. He could only watch his shovel after shovel of dirt, burying his own body. Soon, Tom was left with only his head on the outside. The girls gave him a choice. If he wanted to come out alive, in front of them, to make a video call to his wife, to tell her what he did last night, confess to his wife that he cheated on her. Tom pretends to agree. When the call was made, he told his wife to call the police. Seeing Tom's lack of cooperation, the girls decided to do something tougher. They post the video from last night. Post to Tom's social media platform. The whole circle of friends soon broke out. Now Tom was socially dead. The girls were very happy with the result. Turned around and left and started looking for the next target. Tom, after a lot of struggle, finally pulled out a hand, trying to delete the video. But then he accidentally knocked the phone over and accidentally gave the video a like.